Today I'd like to talk a little bit about the ego or an aspect of the ego. Hey everybody, it's Chris Lemig at Gateway to the Limitless. I'm an author, spiritual educator, and former Tibetan Buddhist monk. And I teach a program called Gateway to the Limitless where I teach you how to connect with your true self so you can learn what your true desires are. And by knowing what you really want out of life, you can then begin to live and manifest your true destiny. So a lot of work that I do is, like I just mentioned, connecting you to your true self. Now, if we're using that term, true self, that implies that there's maybe uh, an opposite to that, a false self. And the way I like to describe when people ask, well, what is my true self? Uh, sometimes they'll say, well, it's everything that you are not, right? So everything that you are not includes things like, you know, your name and your uh, profession and your relationship status and your ethnicity and your you know, basic belief systems, your religious affiliation, all these things that we consider normally to be taken together to be us, to be me, are actually just all arbitrary and temporary uh, labels that we place on ourselves and we, we take that to be our true self. Well, actually, none of those things are actually either individually or taken together. Uh, anywhere within those things can be found your true self because all those things are kind of arbitrary and they're definitely temporary and impermanent. Uh, your name, it's not you. It's given to you by somebody else. It's not even something that you decided on necessarily. And uh, if you did, that means that what happened to the name before, right? Was, was that not you then? And now this name that you've given yourself, is that you? Um, relationship status, that changes all the time. We change our profession and our career. Uh, people change religions. People uh, identify in different ways uh, throughout the, the course of their lifetime. So all of these things and more are really just all temporary um, experiences that are constantly changing. So there's not either one of those things or those things all taken together can be pinpointed as being the true you. So the true self is everything that you are not. So what's left if you remove all of that stuff? Well, spoiler alert here, it's pure awareness. It is pure consciousness. So when we're talking about then the false self, why does the false self seem so real? Well, it's because of this phenomena called the ego. The ego is the collection of uh, all of these beliefs and labels and thought patterns, uh, emotional responses and conditioning that coalesce around an illusory experience of a separate self or a separate I. So that's a very long-winded introduction um, to what I wanted to share today, which is uh, something from a meditation from a few days ago. And uh, this is in a kind of a experience that I had. It just came very clearly, as sometimes these things do in meditation, uh, where you just sort of have a, a whole sort of preformed uh, kind of realization of something. Uh, and it all kind of down, it feels like almost like a download is happening. And then later on, you're able to express it uh, in more uh, you know, detail, uh, like a kind of more of a process, right? So I'm just gonna share with you what I wrote down in my journal after this meditation, because I think it's kind of interesting and, and kind of cool, a uh, cool insight. Um, and what I wrote was, is that the ego has actually no intelligence or creativity of its own. It is nothing more than a mass of conditioning and survival responses that have glommed onto an individual mind stream. Um, in order to survive and maintain itself, it has to sap the creative intelligence and energy of that mind stream and continuously direct it towards the exhausting task of recreating itself moment by moment. This is why it seems so formidable, manipulative, and cunning. It's actually using my own creative power against me. And I put me in quotation marks there because um, it's kind of a oxymoron there, right? To say, to talk about the ego, which is illusory, and then talk about a me that is, well, kind of in air quotes. The me is the I am. It's the, uh, the consciousness, the formless knowing, uh, the formless being of our basic nature uh, that is most definitely there, it's most definitely being, but it has no form, it has no location, it has no boundaries, it has no limits whatsoever. It's pure, free, 
totally expanding, loving, compassionate consciousness and awareness that's expressing itself moment by moment in all of these myriad ways. So I just thought that was an interesting insight to share there how the ego really it has no intelligence of its own. It has no creativity of its own. It's, uh, it's not, an, it's not a, a being necessarily. It's just a, uh, it's a survival, in, it's pure survival instinct, per, pure survival response. It's just this sense of separation, this sense of self that is just trying desperately to protect itself, to constantly build itself up, to build walls around itself so that it can feel whole and complete and safe, which ironically, by creating these walls of separation, it's never going to be able to do. So in order to do that, because it has no intelligence or creativity of its own, it's got to find it somewhere, and that's coming from our own minds, our own mind stream. So it's sort of co-opted our own creative energy to maintain itself. So in order to start to cut through that, what do we need to do? Well, the main thing that we need to do is to connect more and more with our true self, with who we truly are. And the way to do that is through meditation, through cultivating presence and mindfulness, and just turning our attention to that true self, to that awareness that is uh, all pervasive, totally loving, intelligent, and wise, and has all the answers uh, to all the questions we could possibly ask. So I hope you found that uh, interesting. Let me know what you think about the ego. Let me know what you think about this idea that the ego has no intelligence or creativity of its own. I'd love to hear what you think about that. And uh, again, I'm Chris Lemig. Uh, here at Gateway to the Limitless, and uh, please like and subscribe, uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and uh, I hope you're well. Take care, dear hearts and fellow spiritual travelers. Take care of yourselves, and I'll talk to you again soon.